Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4, The Green Family Legacy, where we are here with Op 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 Generation 3 heiress to the legacy, Fern Green, her husband, who's actually secretly married to her, Jean Jewel, and her two younger brothers, as we carry on in memory of Grandpa Tate, with a very special camping trip. And you guys, I think these two are so twitterpated with each other that they're doing a very, very bad job of hiding from her younger brothers who they think totally aren't going to notice all of the flirting oh my word it's just like ridiculous levels of flirting uh but we're hopefully going to have a better day today because i think that these two actually realize that maybe the boys didn't have the best day yesterday so they're going to try to make it oh my gosh what is going on Everyone's just suddenly like celebrating. Oh, the party spirit! Look at Griffin! He knew throwing confetti around the place could be excused today as a party spirit thing. But today they're gonna try to do what the boys really want to do and basically that's just like working with the campfire and going fishing for Aspen who's not really sure about this whole camping thing. And uh, definitely a lot of fire but also just general celebrations and party spirit with Griffin. Uh, so they're gonna try to make it a good day for the boys and fulfill a lot of their wants and kind of just fulfill whatever we can with with uh like their desires like oh like read a book aspen just wants somebody to read a book with him how cute is that oh my gosh all right let's go ahead can we maybe ask about hobbies and skills to both of her brothers to try to get them to know them a little bit better jean's getting in line to go to the bathroom by riding his bike there that's fine, Jean, be that way. All right, and we'll try to see if we can figure out what the boys want to do with their day. I definitely think, oh, new friend. <gasps> Are we friends with Jean now? Oh, look at this. Aspen considers Jean a friend. That's really cute. And actually over here, both of the boys consider Jean a friend, but not so much Fern. I wonder, like, I think Fern's really going to try to work on her relationship with Griffin in particular today. Because they don't have the best relationship. She did move out shortly after he grew up, so maybe, like, ask about Well, you know what? If, if we're on a camping trip, I think she's like, wait, wait, wait. No, I wouldn't want anybody asking me about school. I hated when people asked me about school. Um, maybe I should just try brightening his day. And he does like to be kind of rowdy, so we'll blow the horns, because he enjoys that. Meanwhile, her other little brother, Griffin, oh, and we can cuddle him? Let's see if we can give him a good little cuddle, because we're siblings, right? Sentiment gained. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories, and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Which one of you two gained that sentiment? Because that's really cute. A jam-tastic gift. Fern remembers receiving a gift from Grifton. She was in canned and then growing closer from quality time. Oh, that's really sweet for her like kleptomaniac, adventurous, hot-headed younger brother. Do we have any like er like any sentiment? Super siblings from a great relationship with uh, with ally sibling, blood or not. Oh, and closer from happy memories. That's really sweet. Okay, so Fern is, like, figuring out how to be playful in ways that he might enjoy. Alright, he seems to be having a good time and eating his breakfast. But alright, I think we'll take the boys fishing. <laughs> also, I'm learning that Griffin loves naps. I love that we finally get to spend a little bit more time with them today to kind of understand what they're really into. And Griffin also wants to get a gift from Mother Nature become playful and oh he wants to hug someone <gasps> well he wouldn't let her cuddle but what about going ahead and can we maybe let's go ahead and we'll we'll hug lovingly because i think he's in a good mood and then we'll have his sister go ahead and introduce him to some of the gifts of nature because there is actually some strawberries over here that he should be able to go ahead and pick Oh, and Griffin just reached level 5 social. Oh, that's so sweet. Finally, look at this. Look at this. We're bonding. If Gene saw this, I think he'd be all over dreams of like, oh, but if we had our own kids. Yeah, I think he's, he's, he's cloud gazing. He's been completely distracted on his way back from the bathroom. Just thinking about what life could be like. We'll have him jog here. 
And he wants to have some party spirit too. Drink, dance, and play music. The party spirit lives us lives in us all. So I think he'll go ahead and play some music. Um, maybe. Oh, we have two campfires. So he might play some music, or we'll just have everybody come over and maybe start doing a little bit of fishing together. Because I think that that would be a good move to spend the morning. Because I want the boys to have a better day today. And really, great reputation! <gasps> Fern just gained a great reputation! Everyone loves attending social events that Fern hosts, so it'll be easier to achieve gold level rewards during one. In addition, she'll receive phone calls with exciting opportunities, such as attending charity benefit parties, job offers to join new careers with immediate promotions up the ranks, and many more. Uh, let's see, should Fern become interested in dating? Nope, we're not going to worry about that. But that's so cute! So Fern's reputation has actually been repaired mostly by being, like, kind to her younger brother. That's adorable. Alright, can we do any more party spirit things? That might really help out. Alright, what about... Uh, spin at camping. Oh, noisemaker! Here, we'll spin a noisemaker, even though the other brother is napping. Because this kid loves, he really loves making a lot of noise. And let's see, we'll share some excitement to kind of work on that party spirit a little bit to make sure he has a better day. And he wants to become playful, so that's social interactions. So maybe we'll have these two start like being really playful with each other. Let's see, funny, do an impression, which apparently counts as the party spirit. Maybe joke about chicken butt, because she has some chickens she's been taking care of. Oh, Jean! And I think Jean's been fighting off an illness, but he doesn't want anybody to know, because he's trying really hard. Like, look, he wants to show off his muscles to someone. I am saying he's, like, trying to really, you know, not, not let anyone know he's sick on the family vacation. He's really repressing that. Can he show off his muscles without... Let's see. Without, yeah, we'll show off muscles. And we'll see if that works. Jean, for crying out loud. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody seems pretty happy. So let's see how much we can get some satisfaction up today. Maybe we can go ahead and get something from the reward store with all of their satisfaction points. You two are doing a terrible job of hiding your relationship from your brothers. I wonder if there's something that we could... Oh, maybe great storyteller or something like that. Yeah, maybe we can go ahead and get the boys like some sort of special night owl or storm chaser. Yeah, we'll see how high up we can get their aspiration points. And by the time that the party is over and that we're supposed to send them home, it'd be really fun if we could go ahead and see if we can send send them back with some new life skills they've gained from this special event. Yay! Oh, and we have some of the songs and videos that Jean's worked on just got some mu or just got some money. That's wonderful. Uh, let's see, practice singing. Oh, that'd be really cute. Here, okay. Meanwhile, Griffin has just woken up, and it's kind of raining. I think everybody, like, uh, Grandpa Tate always said it was best to go fishing in the rain, because you can only catch certain fish whilst you're raining. So let's have everybody come and go fishing. I think that sounds like a great next activity for everyone to go ahead and focus on. What do you mean you guys can't go fishing? Come over here and go fishing together. Let's see. Dang it! All right, it looks like this fishing hole is kind of like messed up if you want them to go fishing together. But we're going to go ahead. Oh, and look, and Griffin, this is the first time Griffin's ever been fishing. Let's have Fern. She's actually an expert fisher. She has a lot of advice that she could offer on this. So we'll have Fern go ahead. What? Is it only big enough for like one fishing person at a time? All right. If that's the case, then we'll have two of these people like play and chat nearby. Ooh, and maybe explore and examine what, like dig around in the riverside whilst we wait. It's because this bear is here. All right, let's scare this bear away again. Um, here, I'm going to go ahead and do a rude introduction because we're just going to pretend this is an actual bear being near the kids. And then we'll see if we can chase this person away too. 
Oh, is Griffin about to catch his first catch? It's a bunch of weeds. So that's probably why we weren't able to do anything is because these strangers were coming by and wanted in on the action. Griffin! He got his first catch and it's a bunch of weeds. Alright, so we're going to have... We're going to see if we can maybe chase away this bear. Uh, ask what uh, Isophona's problem is. But no, no, we're just going to go ahead now that we did a rude introduction. We'll see if we can go fishing. And then, can we send this other person away? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Jean's never been fishing before either. Uh, Fern examined the water and noticed a perch, but it didn't notice any new varieties of fish. Okay, so she can go fishing now too. All right, time for Aspen to go ahead and can we have him come go fishing with Fern? Or is this all, I think, four people is enough? So we're going to actually have, we'll do a friendly introduction. Even though he's kind of shy. And there, we chased her away. All right, Fern, get back over here. You are fishing with your siblings. So we'll have Fern go fishing with some bait. I'm going to have her use maybe some mushrooms. Would that make decent bait? Oh, maybe some trash fruit. I'm just going to try it out and see what happens. And we'll let everybody go fishing together. Hopefully this will work out. And meanwhile, let's go ahead and we're going to ignore this creepy lady. Yay! And Aspen's never been fishing either. What? And he's gaining some scout points for this. I totally forgot he was in scouts, but that's fantastic. Look, yeah, all he really wanted to do today was go fishing. That's so cute. I totally didn't know that, like, her brothers had never gone fishing before. I think Fern really considers this, like, a neglect. Because fishing was Grandpa Tate's thing. They are closer in spirit to Grandpa Tate right now doing this fishing together than truly ever before, if you ask me. He fished all the time. That's kind of how he founded the first generation of our legacy friends. Ooh, and this actually does mental? That's so cool! I think we wanted to get mental skill up. And Jean just caught a yellow perch. Yay. Or Fern did, and Jean's learning about yellow perches as a result. Read with an adult for two hours. <gasps> Jean! Is that the first fish he's ever caught? Let me, like, triple check. I think that's the first fish he's ever caught. Good job! Is that a kissing garami? Because he's going to make so many puns if that's a kissing garami. Uh, let's see. It's a perch. Okay. No need to panic. Let's see. Jean wants to enthuse about guitar solos, level up his charisma skill. Meanwhile, coming down the line here, level up in mental skill, start an argument, ask for typing tips, daydream, talk about art, tell a make-believe story from this little guy. Yeah, literally all Griffin really wanted to do was go ahead and he wanted, or Aspen wanted to do, was go fishing today. Griffin's not 100% sure about this. I think he wants to be more of like a, a mischievous troublemaker. And it looks like the boys could actually use a nap before the evening. So we might go ahead and let the boys take a quick nap. And let Jean and Fern maybe have a moment to themselves. Because uh, that seems like a good idea. Because it seems like everybody has gotten what they wanted out of the fishing. So let's do that. Because I think that would be cute. And we'll quickly have them go ahead and, like, friendly, maybe, hmm, uh, let's have them enthuse about share spirit, and then I'll, I'll have him go ahead and enthuse about the guitar solos, just to get a little bit closer to our younger member. Um, let's see. And then spin the noise maker. And then let's come over. Give gift? Maybe a fish? Let's enthuse about fishing with our younger brother. Brighten his day just to make sure he's happy. And then maybe deep personal conversation. Oh, Griffin, you made my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. <gasps> Griffin really likes Jean. That's really cool. There we go. And we'll go ahead and let these two kind of maybe have a deep conversation out of the blue. 
because they really are quite close. Oh good, and now she counts as friends with her, her brother Griffin. That makes me happy to see. Alright, there you go, kidlets. And Jean's getting another phone call. From Devin! <laughs> Fern's mom is like stalking him. Like, oh, that was so nice of you to take the boys camping. I'm so glad they're having a good time. All right. And then we'll do maybe some practice singing with these two. And then the rain is kind of getting Aspen down a little bit. But otherwise, Fern is feeling super flirty. And she's like laughing at how cute Jean has been. Oh my gosh, Jean, who is calling you now? Jean, pay attention. Here's the latest rules. Get yourself to an audition ASAP. Okay, he would go ahead and totally ignore them, even though Jean does have a acting career that we actually need to work on. Um, but let's go ahead and... Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I think this is, this is more than enough, kids. Man, Griffin's really hard to satisfy with all of his desires. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to let the kidlets go sleep. Because I think that, like, somebody has had some thoughts on her mind for a little while. And while the boys are going ahead and taking a nap, I think that we're going to have Fern come over. And we're going to have her compliment his, a certain somebody's appearance. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. And then I'm going to have her... What does she want to do? Does she just want to chat with Jean? Oh, she wants to hug him. She wants to kiss him! There we go. Like I said, while the kids are sleeping, um, she wants to spend a little... Kiss in the rain! Oh, that sounds so romantic when you phrase it like that. There you go, kidlets. You guys go ahead and take a nap. They've been, they were up very late last night, after all. What? And the rain stops just as we wanted to kiss in the rain? Even though that would have been so adorably romantic. That's so funny. Then let's go ahead. I'm going to see where this might take us. Let's see. Embrace. Hug someone. Level up that charisma skill. Jean, you better not be the kind of person who levels up your charisma skill through kissing. Though I guess then you could have really good charisma from being... Actually... <gasps> I never thought about it that way, you guys, but maybe I should give him that special skill where you can level up your charisma through kissing. Great kisser, because they're amazing with kissing and they increase charisma with every kiss. That actually sounds really cute because then you could like get good charisma from just like being really, really sweet to your, your spouse, which sounds adorable. All right, let's go ahead and try an embrace. I'm going to see if either of these two are going to roll for a certain risque want. Play in the rain. Well, there's no more rain. Let's see. Identify wild plant. Observe the skies. She's off to go inspect. <laughs> Dang it, Fern. I'm trying to set you up for something special. Um, let's see. Can I observe the skies over here? Interesting. Why can I not observe the skies? All right. What about him? He wants to schedule a date. We the, the ne That function never works for me. But now he wants to give a romantic gift. <laughs> Jean, okay. Well, maybe... Oh, there's actually some mushrooms over here. Maybe he can find something along the riverside that we could give her. And she also does want to identify a wild plant. So maybe I can find... No plants need tending at the moment. Harvest unidentified flower. Maybe that will help her out. All right, so it seems Fern is actually excited to investigate the wilderness part of being out here rather than make out with Jean, which I was trying very hard to give her some time to be able to do. And meanwhile, Jean did find her. Let's go ahead and extract this fossil. A prehistoric rock. Oh, bird, yes. Okay, that actually seems really cool. We'll see if that can count as a romantic gift. Maybe that'll count. And meanwhile, Fern has harvested one unidentified plant. Yay! Oh, and I forgot she had the outdoor enthusiast going on right now. All right. And identify wild plant harvest and identify the flowers or fruits gained from it. Uh, well, we just harvested it. How do we identify? Attempt to identify. 
All right, we'll have her go ahead and try to attempt to identify this plant because I think that will make her really happy. And meanwhile, what are you doing? No, don't kick a soccer ball with a bear. And we'll get Jean over here. Fern has no idea what this plant is. Building herbalism skill will help with identifying plants. Got it. So we need to like work on the herbalism skill in order to get that working. Ah, <sighs> all right. Well, that means I'm gonna have to need to search out some more unidentified plants. But I really was hoping that these two would get flirty enough to roll a want to maybe tumble around in the bushes. But if that's not the case, that's fine. Uh, how will we build herbalism then? I guess we could go over here. We would need a lot of plants. I guess we're, we're gonna walk around and we're going to just like harvest unidentified plants and try to identify them and see if we can build up our herbalism that way. And meanwhile, Jean, I'm gonna keep him here. Take dog on a walk, be gross from being a slob. I don't think so. We might take the dog on a walk because that seems like the kind of thing that Toby would probably need. Toby, where are you? Toby's just having a good time playing with his ball, actually. But he does need fed, and I don't think I put some food bowls out. I'm sorry, Toby. All right, let's come take care of Toby for a little while. All right, let's give you a little treat. And we'll give you a little pet. And then we'll try one last time while the boys are sleeping. In fact, actually, Toby, hang in there. Sorry, buddy. We're going to go ahead. Fern's going to try to identify these unidentified plants. Whoa, that grass just like popped up right under our feet. And she still doesn't know what that plant is either. So we'll have to harvest a bunch of them and just continue trying to gather as many of these unidentifiable plants as possible. Fern, you stay still for just a second. She's still having like a fantastic, wonderful day. Flop wealth, clean out spoiled food, just practice singing, just kind of humming to yourself. There's Toby coming to play with you. Here's Jean. And then let's see if Jean can go ahead and give romantic gift. And we're going to try giving the prehistoric bird. I think he found the bird and the prehistoric rock, which is kind of cool. Oh, and now he's not feeling comfortable. Gosh darn it. And if we can't observe the skies, maybe flirting with him will work. All right. Let's see. We'll try flirting. Oh, she returned the gift with a rose. That's so sweet. The boys will be up any minute now. Hurry up, you two. My heart leaps whenever you are near. I love you more with each and every day. All right. Yeah, I feel like these two are really starting to get to the point where they're like, you know, I think I might like like him. All right. Maybe we'll make a joke about it. We'll tell a dirty joke to kind of be like, you know, uh, it's almost like we're really on a real family vacation or something like a little bit raunchier than that, but still. All right. And then flirt. Okay. Okay. You guys know how I like to torment myself, myself by trying not to poke my sims into relationships if they don't kind of guide the way there. What is this? Natural dirt. Slobs feel right at home when they're being dirty and camping. It makes them feel flirty. Jean, you precious weirdo, you. Oh my gosh. Alright. Oh, now somebody is feeling the celebratory party spirit from all this flirting. We can't schedule a date, you guys. That that doesn't work here. All right, kiss someone. We'll see if I can manage to get this all done. Kiss someone. Does that count as kiss? All right, date date scheduling is the function that literally never works. Observe the skies. I'm trying so hard to hope that these two might be able to serenade another sim. And then now it's raining. So we literally can't observe the skies. And we can't really schedule a date. And now they just want to serenade each other. 
<gasps> oh, I heard you're good friends. You and Naoka Made are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Jean, you're just getting all of the phone calls. All right, guys. Well, it doesn't look like these two are actually going to roll the wands I was hoping for. But it is ridiculously adorable to see how they do want to serenade one another. So I will let them go ahead and serenade each other in the rain. We still haven't convinced Griffin that this camping thing is that much fun. And we need to take good care of Toby. So we have a little bit of work to do with the boys there. But I'm hoping we'll manage to pull it off. Also, where the heck did you get that drink from? I guess she's just like cheering, cheering the awesomeness of the day. Fern, what? All right, that's fine. That was really random. Are you going to go ahead and be serenaded? Ah, fine. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on my, like, fruitless attempts once more to see if I could progress this relationship. Uh, it didn't work. However, the boys are having a slightly better day. And we are developing a deeper bond with her brothers, which is making Fern really look at Jean in new ways. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for these two and their hopeless romance. And the fact he's covered in bug bites now! This is the least romantic camping trip I think they have ever dreamed of. This is so hilarious. First, the dog pees on the campfire the first night and puts it out. Now we're covered in bug bites. All right, I, I could see how neither of these two are thinking rolling around in bushes filled with bugs sounds like a good idea. That's fine. I can accept this. Uh, and if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.